Welcome to ProTech IntelliTrack. In this short video we're going to start talking about group operations. This is a real time saver. It's the ability to act on many aprons at once, doing an update, doing an inspection, saves a ton of time. Let's get started. So let's see. What we're going to do is I need a couple extra aprons in the CT area for a week. I've got a bunch of uh, appointments coming up so let's see I'm gonna use my department stats in the dashboard area to see yeah let's get a couple from radiology and then move them over there so how do we do that let's go to manage aprons and let's pick radiology okay we're only gonna bring back uh, these aprons from radiology and what we're gonna do is we're gonna select a couple of those add them to what we call the group list and then change to their department. So I come down here and I go, yeah, we can take that one from the front desk, no problem. Oh, here's one in storage up, oh, but it's damaged. Don't want that one. It's actually two damaged ones. So we're going to grab both of these for right now, and then add to group. Notice that there's no items currently in the group list. So let's add those two aprons to that group list. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the apron group area right here and we're going to act on those aprons. What can we do with a group of aprons? Well, a couple things. If you notice on this first tab that uh, this is where we manage the list. We can uh, print reports on this list. We can remove the check uh, ones from the list. This is where we manage the list. We also can do group updates, which is what we're about to do. We can also do group uh, inspections and then a little helps available. So let's do the group updates. Okay, what are we going to do? How are we going to act on these two aprons? Okay, they're both selected. That's what we want to see. And then we're going to go up here and change those depart uh, departments for both of those to the CT department. And we're going to put a note. Uh, temporary loan for one week for... Uh, backlog of appointments. Okay, great. I um, might put my initials in there. Yeah. Okay, so hit update group. And then we're going to see that those have been updated. How could we do that? Well, a couple different ways. We could go back to the dashboard. and back to the department tab and see yep radiology's got two CT's got three or in fact if I just want to click through there on the CT click on the three and then I can see the list now of the aprons that are in the CT department yep and you notice the item lab labels don't change but the department does and if I wanted to go, huh, why, why is that? So I just click on RAD3. I might come down here. I'd scroll down and go, oh, yeah, here's that note. I did this uh, temporary loan for one week for backlog of appointments. Very good. Okay. Nice. So what have I done? I created a group of aprons by coming to the search function in this case searching for the uh, uh, department's worth of aprons, picking out the ones I wanted to move to a different department. Uh, then I went to the, uh, added those to the group list. Then I went to the apron group area where I work on groups of aprons. And in this case, I did a group update, simply changed uh, the particular field I want to apply to all of those aprons in my group. And it's just a group of two this time. Could be 50 or hundreds. Do the update and then double check my work and off I go. So that's what I did in this uh, particular area. See you in the next video.